Thank you, Chandler. As Chandler just mentioned, breaking news overnight, crews rushed to the scene of a deadly wrong-way crash on I-95 in Ben Salem. We just learned two vehicles were involved and one person was killed. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live near the scene with more. So, Jan, what can you tell us? Jim, good morning. Well, as you mentioned, we just got an update from state police. Investigators tell us this was a wrong way crash that happened in the northbound lanes of I-95 in Ben Salem, Bucks County. Chopper 3 over that scene this morning showing how serious this crash was. Investigators tell us a vehicle was traveling south in the northbound lanes and crashed into a vehicle traveling north in the correct direction. One person has died and state police are still investigating this morning. If you take a look at the video now on the ground, you can see just how serious this whole crash is. Now, officials have confirmed one death as a result of this crash, but they haven't provided any more details on any other injuries that may have resulted. You can see, though, a very serious crash, at least two vehicles involved. Investigators have even placed a tarp over one of those vehicles this morning. Now, this all happened right around 145 again on I-95 North, closer to the Woodhaven Road. Road exit. State police have confirmed that one vehicle was traveling in the wrong way, crashed into a vehicle traveling the correct direction on I-95 North, and one person is dead. No Im information on that person just yet. Of course, we will keep you up to date. Back out here live on the scene, we are coming to you live just off I-95 North at the Academy Road Linden Avenue exit. That is the line of cars you see behind me this morning. So again, as Chandler Lutz has been reporting, you're going to have to detour around this three mile mile stretch in Ben Salem Bucks County to get where you're going this morning. We will keep you up to date live from the scene, but for now, Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim, back into you. Thank you, Jan.